Welcome back y'all. Today we're doing another Cooking with Kim and today we're going to be doing a whole chicken in the Instapot. I'm going to show you how it's done in 32 minutes. <laughs> turned on my instant pot put it on saute and it goes to the natural the middle part right here the medium and now it is hot so what I have done is I've cleaned my chicken off I patted it dry I put some kosher salt some cayenne pepper and a little bit of mrs. dash urban seasoning on top of it so what I'm gonna do now since I have a tablespoon of oil in here I just used a, um, a vegetable oil because I didn't have any coconut oil with me so I'm gonna put this in and I am going to brown the bottom and it's gonna be breast side down I'm going to brown that, and then I'm going to brown the other side. And after I get through browning it, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it back out, and I'm going to put it on my rack that goes in the Instant Pot. And I'm going to sit the chicken on it, and then I'm going to add, it says water, so I'm going to use chicken stock because it always flavors things better. And I'll put a little bit of lemon juice in with it, too. And it's going to, it's, what you need to know is if you have a defrosted chicken, you're going to use, you're going to cook this for six minutes per pound. I have got a five pound chicken. So it's six minutes times six, I mean five minutes, five pounds times six minutes. And then at the end, you're going to add two minutes all the time. So it's going to be 30 minutes plus two minutes. And as soon as it gets through browning, I'm going to come back to you and show you how we're going to put this together. See you in a minute. Okay, I've been sauteing this for about five minutes. I'm going to take this out now. And I'm going to put it, put it right here for just a second. I am going to put my little rack that comes with the Instapot in here. I'm going to put a cup of stock, stock, chicken stock in there. And it's a chicken stock, not the chicken broth, but you could use either one. Or you could actually use water if you'd like to. And I like to put a little bit of lemon juice so the steam, when it's under pressure, it'll the lemon will go through there through the chicken also. So we put some of that in. But it's only a cup of water, chicken broth, or chicken stock, whichever you prefer, and then, I, like I said, I'll add probably a couple of tablespoons in here. Now, we're going to turn this back on. We're going to use the manual, and we're going to go up to 32 minutes. Let's see what, let's see what the poultry actually does. It's 44, yeah. Thirty-two minutes. Okay, so now we're going to put this in here. Put the top on, and we're going to go breast side. Oh, breast side up. And then, since it's under pressure, it should be okay. We're going to put our lid on. What is going on here? There you go. All right, the lid's on. It's on on poultry, high pressure. This is done all the way back so that the steam will not come out. We're going to let this now cook for the 32 minutes. And I'm going to come back to you as soon as it clicks off and show you how it's going to go into a keep warm mode. And we're going to let that release its pressure for 15 minutes. And then we're going to take it out and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So in 32 minutes, we'll be right back with you. Okay, it's been 15 minutes now. I'm going to release the pressure. I'm going to use my spoon and just kind of cover it a little bit. And we're waiting. What we're wait, waiting to do is the silver little pressure thing has got to go down. And when it goes down, we're going to open this pot and we're going to see what the chicken looks like. Hopefully it's going to be good and done. I'm going to actually take this recipe and I'm going to make a um, that dish that I made before with the black beans and corn and chicken, but I'm going to use the quinoa this time and put in there instead of the brown rice and see how it comes out. But a whole chicken, you can make so many different things with it and use more than, you know, just put a little bit in something and a little bit in something else, so that's what we're going to do with this chicken. Try to make some different dishes out of it, save some money and freeze some and put it up and we'll have it for another day. 
And that's what we're doing today. It'll take about two or three minutes for this to undo. So we'll um, we'll come back to you as soon as the little... Oh, wait, it just dropped. Never mind. I didn't think it'd take that long. Move back, Daryl. Now, when you do this, I'll always turn it away from me and from my face, too, because you never know if there's going to be something in there and it's going to actually do something. You don't want that steam up in your face. Okay. Ooh, it looks good. Okay, let's see if we can get this out of here now. Ooh, we may have to do it like this. And all it is, if you want to, you could take it and you could run it through the um, through the broiler at your home. But in, a, in an RV, you don't really have a broiler, so <laughs> we're going to just use it like it is right now. But if you wanted to brown it some more, you definitely could put it in the oven underneath the broiler for about five minutes. And it would brown it all up and it would be nice and pretty. Right now, it's not pretty, but it's still done. It's still going to be good. Oh, look how moist it is. And it's going to be so good. And I'm just going to take all the skin off of it. Oh, look at all the juice coming out. So, this is how you do a whole chicken in an Instapot. And look at the juice. There's no better way to cook a chicken, I believe. In this little bit of, bit of time. And then I could actually take the, the juice right here that I had, you know, browned the chicken in. And I have the chicken stock and the lemon. And I could actually put a little bit of flour in there make a gravy out of it. So, there's a lot of options that you can do with this. But a whole chicken is just really a good staple just to have to... Go back and find something else that you want to, a dish that you can make. You can make anything you want to with this. So that's what we're going to do. Thank y'all for watching today. If you have any questions about using the Instapot, please give me a, a shout out or well, um, comment below. <laughs> that's what I was trying to say. I'm sorry. And I'll be happy to answer it if I can. But thank y'all for watching and have a great day. Give us a thumbs up if you like this. If you haven't, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that also. Have a great one, y'all. Bye-bye.